Welcome back to DigiPest guys. We have another exciting match here. This is a mirror match. Mastermon versus Mastermon with Mastermon on the left and of course Mastermon on the right. Uh, I'm trying a different video editing, video editing technique here where I basically just speed up the clips and uh, cut out any super long dead air. Hopefully it'll show a little bit more contemplation and consideration of different moves by the opponents or by the players. Um, both players starting pretty strong here with their Gato Mons uh, and then getting their uh, Master Mons as well. And then Lady Devi Search dumping the Master Mon to grab out more pieces. Uh, this will be pretty much a race to whoever can get to the Master Mon first. Lady Devi is a good pick here to try to draw into. But we see an early drop for the Loose Mons, really good for the right Master Mon player. And dropping the Gato Mon too. Swinging early. Hitting out a Magnet Angie. Uh, the left player is really wants to see that Magnet Angie one in the trash super early so they can start um, getting the uh, healing off the uh, any revival effects from the trash. And then Mastermon, uh, sorry, Magnemon getting the heal from the hard play quick into Mastermon from the Gatamon effect of Mastermon playing a Magnet Angel and removing the Lady Debbie. There's the super early Magnemon um, Mastermon that I was talking about. And now left player is in a very dominant position. Uh, let's see what the right player can do here, considering their lack of resources. Uh, they've got plenty of memory to work with. Oh, here's an Gatomon. Gatomon Gatamon fetching a Lady Devi and a Magna. And now they can go into Lady Devi and then get their, plenty of the draws, hopefully see their Mastermon. And then we can hard play the Angemon, get the heal, and it looks like they're already getting everything ready. Uh, you got a Digivolve first. Yep, here's their Mastermon. And uh, I think they missed the draw. Let's see if they get the draw anyway. Um, playing the Lucemon, uh, Lucemon kills the Mastermon, and then Mastermon will get rid of the level 5 on the board. Uh, I think they did miss the draw of the Mastermon. Uh, shouldn't matter too much. Uh, so the rookie going in, getting the draw and discard off the Mirror, dubbing a Black Gato Mon is really good because it also has Rush, and then getting the uh, fetching two off the calling, grabbing the Gato Mon, plenty of memory to work with so they can hard play the Gato Mon here. Look, top three, grab a Lady Devi, bottom the rest, then they can either up that Lady Devi, and then hopefully draw into another pieces to get the next Master Mon to counter the opponent's super early Master Mon. Oh man, this is so exciting. Just seeing everything just pop off like this. Absolutely crazy. Hard playing the Magna. It looks like they're going for the uh, quick play here into the Master Mon. Yep, get that draw. And then Master Mon, of course, playing, unfortunately, no Lucid Mon. Let's see, if, let's see if it's in the security. No Lucemon, unfortunately. So the um, the Magnet Angel will get the heal, and then uh, the Mastermon will of course pop the Lucemon. Uh, Mastermon still being a threat on the opponents of the board. Uh, pretty interesting here because both Mastermons have the plus 1000 bonus from the Magnet Angel Mons, I think. So whoever swings into security here uh, can potentially lose their Mastermon from the other player's Mastermon crashing into it. Uh, so we do see an air security hit from the right player. Uh, going into a Lady Devi, getting the draw. Uh, discard then draw, discard then look at top three, right? Uh, I think contemplating what they're going to discard. Uh, I guess they decided not to do it. It might be a um, you may effect, so maybe they decided not to do that. Um, and Hell Scythe, bringing back the Magnet Angel, removing the Magnet Angel and then healing one. Really good value here. So like I said, the Mastermon can swing over the Mastermon with a plus 1000 attack from the Magnet Angel underneath it. Uh, Sukaimon swinging in, revealing TK. TK searching the Mastermon, that's really nice, because uh, now the right player has both pieces for the Mastermon play, as long as uh, my, the opponent here doesn't remove one. Uh, but minus 6000 from the Flame Hellsight, we'll remove the purple, and fetching Magnet Angel, uh, which will heal and the Mastermon will remove the other Magnet Angel on, on the board. Playing it safe with the Gatomon in the rear and then uh, call, uh, Dead or Alive, that's the word it's called. Uh, bringing back the Lucemon to remove the Mastermon good value. 
uh, and uh, uh, left play security is looking very very healthy I think they're on um, 8 or 9 security with all the Magnum on heals um, well they're definitely on even more now probably put in the yep putting the booster in the security and fetching that rookie see what they can do from here swinging with the Magnet Angel on and the opponent's on three security here playing the purple and then looking at top four probably want to grab the Ophanimon yeah that way uh, you can start um, getting uh, good resource value off the because if your opponent's um, last their security you can go pretty aggressive um, especially with Ophanimon because of the good value for healing and uh, recurring itself on deletion uh, Lucer Emon smacking over the Magna and then going for the DNA. Yep, correct the colors, get the draw, and of course it become it is comes into play unsuspended. Uh, getting the I think that was the yeah, that's the Rush Gatomon back into security and then playing it. Looks like the right player wants to be a little bit aggressive here, getting the Russia. Chaos degradation, putting the Mastermon. In the bottom and then like loses the stack unfortunately uh, black gatomon just going in oh the punishment by the sword defeat uh, and then it looks like the right player just wants to deal with that immediately uh, and decides to shred it a pretty good idea to shred it because if the opponent had a way to shuffle their security with like a mastermon or a tk then uh, a surprise Zwart defeat coming out from the middle of security can be very scary for the right player. Uh, hard playing the Lucemon to remove the TK, uh, pitching the memory boosters to gain a bunch of memory, then go into the Afanimon passing turn. Uh, Afanimon I think also removes the Black Gatomon through its effect. Uh, no yellow underneath it so they won't get the heal, uh, but the removal is really nice, especially because the Afanimon can also replace itself uh, when it is deleted, which is what's going to happen right now after the Lucimon is hard played. Then in Gatimon, Gatimon looking top three, grabbing the Sukaimon. Do you know the uh, Tapuriamon? Uh, <laughs> looks like uh, left player just wants to have a just grab a 6k or lower from their trash, getting the rush. This is what defeat. Oh, that's scary. Going into a Lady Debbie, getting the look. Oh, that deck is not looking very healthy. I can only see maybe six cards in their deck right now. So deck out is a very real possibility for the right player. A second SWAT defeat coming out. And that looks like actually three cards in the deck. Very not great for the uh, left player. They definitely don't want to be evolving or drawing any cards off effect. They might just want to start hard playing guys so they won't be drawing. Um, they don't want to lose from the deck out. Minus two security attack to one of the Zwarts. They don't need to worry too much about uh, their security. They just need to worry about being decked out here. Uh, Zwarts um, playing control, hitting over all the spinned guys. Uh, Sukaimon hitting in security, getting the draw and discard off the Gary Mara. Once it is deleted, remove that. Yep, thank you very much. Um, and now if the left player can heal or set up some blockers, then we should be fine to try to deck out the opponent. Looks like they've only got three, uh, two turns left until they deck out. Uh, they need to start being super aggressive, just hard playing a bunch of guys. Flame Hellstack to remove the Magna to get the Black Gato with Rush, very good. Uh, swing with the Rush. Hitting, oh no, Death Claw to remove the Gazimon, making making them draw and discard off the Darren Merrill. Two cards left in deck. Squigging and being removed because we know that the Mastermon is the last of their security. Uh, degradation to put the Zwart back and shred it. They've got two hits and their opponent has, I think, four security. Um, two cards left. Yes, they're just playing on defense now. Swart cleaning up the Black Gato. Dead or Alive, or oh, Dead or Alive can bring back probably the Lucemon. Lucemon to pop the tap Tapira. Uh, and calling, yes, kill the Swart Defeat. Swart Defeat effect will pop the Lucemon and then grabbing back a bunch of guys from hand. Probably doesn't matter too much. Playing the Rush just to hit out security. 
pretty risky because uh, if it's another dead or alive or something like that to play a guy, uh, that would be very concerning. Um, yeah, Trachmon 1 is good though. Hard play on Gazimon. Now if they can easily remove or heal then they pretty much got the game as long as the opponent can't rush out with the Black Atomon and get, get the heal and this is pretty much game at this point. And yeah, the left player scoops. Unfortunately that this game actually went on for half an hour. So when they went on to game two, they never finished it. And the right player actually took the entire match from this one game. If you like that one guys, definitely check out the rest of the channel. We've got plenty of VTA videos. Um, subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.